um, all right, well, you know, what exactly is going to be our, you know, integral? And yes, you can integrate this. You can integrate and then differentiate again. But again, what's the point of doing all that when we know we, we're going to get, if this was just x, then we know that it's just going to end up giving us secant squared of x, right? So why go through all the steps of integrating and differentiating if we know we're just going to get back to secant squared of x? But the difference is, when I, when I have to differentiate this, I have x cubed. So yes, I have secant squared of x cubed. And then I need to multiply that by the um, derivative, which is going to be multiplied by 3x. Huh? 3x squared, thank you. Um, so, I, if I did this, if I said 3 over to x of that, right, secant squared, then we know that the answer would just be secant squared of x. Do you agree with me? Yes. But the difference is, when I do this problem and I integrate this, and then I have to differentiate, I have to apply the chain rule. Because if you were to work this out, you know, if we we're going to integrate this and we'd say, OK, that's tangent of t from x cubed to 3. And then we say, OK, now, oops, d over dx. So now we say, all right, d over dx of tangent of x cubed minus tangent of 3. Well, if we're taking the, tan if we're taking the derivative of tangent x cubed, you just can't take the derivative of tangent x cubed and say it's secant squared. Right? You have to take tangent and then multiply by the derivative because you have to apply the chain rule. Right? So what I'm saying is when we're applying something that's different than x, such as x cubed, x squared, whatever else, we have to make sure that we multiply by its derivative, which is basically the upper bound. Okay? Which I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of, I'm going to label out these shortcuts. <coughs> 